Hello, students. How are you? Are you fine? Yes. Perfect. I'm so so. I don't feel good, but it doesn't matter. Listen to me. This week we are going to talk about like and don't like. Okay? This is a subject. Like and don't like. Yo no know what is like. Muchos de ustedes ya saben lo que significa like y también el significado de don't like. Ok. Significa like, significa me gusta. I like, me gusta. And don't like is a negative form. Ok. Negative form. Let's start with affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences. For affirmative sentences, I have three sentences. Ok. <laughs> yes. Puse tres oraciones. Ok. Vamos a utilizar diferentes pronombres. Number one, I like playing basketball. Ok, I like playing basketball. Significa, a mí me gusta jugar basketball. And number two, I use the pronoun he, que significa él. He likes watching TV. A él le gusta mirar televisión. In number three, I use the pronoun she, ella. She likes swimming in the pool. A ella le gusta nadar en la piscina. Ok. Esta vez vamos a usar diferentes pronombres. ¿Cuáles son los pronombres? I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. ¿Ok? These are pronouns. Pero como te dije, solo puse tres ejemplos. Puse el pronombre I, he, and she. Ahora, quiero mostrarte algo. Como te dije, vamos a usar el verbo like, que significa gustar, me gusta, ¿ok? Pero después del verbo like, tengo que utilizar otro verbo, ¿ok? Tengo que, tengo que utilizar otro verbo y debo de agregar la letra ing, ¿ok? ing, one minute. Ok, chicos, como les decía, vamos a trabajar de esta manera. En la oración, tú tienes que utilizar un verbo, ¿ok? En este caso, el verbo que he utilizado es play, pero he agregado ing al verbo que diría pledging, ¿ok? Es decir, al verbo que tú vas a emplear en tu oración, siempre tendrás que agregarle ing, ing, ¿ok? Si utilizas el verbo play, pues tendrás que agregar ing y dirá pledging. Si utilizas el verbo watch, agregas ing y dirá watching. Si utilizas el verbo swim, que significa nadar, tienes que agregarle ing y dirá swimming, ¿ok? Todos los verbos que tú emplees en este tema, tienes que agregarle siempre ing, ing, ¿ok? ing. I'm going to repeat. Voy a repetir. I like playing basketball. He likes watching TV. He likes swimming in the pool, ¿ok? A different example, you can say, I like cooking. Eh, he likes driving his car, she likes singing, ¿ok? Ahora, otra cosa que quería decirte es, cuando utilizamos el pronombre he o el pronombre she, el verbo like se tiene que escribir de esta manera, likes, ¿ok? Likes, tenemos que agregarle la S, eso es cuando hablamos en tercera persona, he and she, he likes, she likes, ¿ok? La letra S. Solamente cuando utilizamos el pronombre en tercera persona. Vuelvo a repetir. Ahora, les estaba diciendo otros ejemplos, ¿no? Eh, what do you like? ¿Qué te gusta? Or what do you like to do? ¿Qué te gusta hacer? For example, I like sleeping. I like watching comedy movies. I like eating ice cream. Now listen to the question. What does he like to do? He likes watering the plants. What does she like to do? She likes going shopping. Okay? Now Let's talk about negative sentences or the negative form. Ahora vamos a hablar sobre la forma negativa. Para esto vamos a usar don't like, ¿ok? Don't like. Miren los tres ejemplos. In number one, I don't like drinking juice, ¿ok? 
¿Qué es lo que he utilizado? Don't. ¿Ok? Don't like. Si yo pongo don't, automáticamente la oración está en la forma negativa. ¿Ok? I don't like. Y lo mismo. No te olvides de agregarle ing al verbo, al verbo en tu oración. ¿Ok? I don't like drinking juice. De pronto no quieres poner drink, puedes utilizar eh, el verbo saltar, que significa jump. Entonces tu oración sería, I don't like jumping. Jumping, recuerda la ING. De pronto quieres utilizar el verbo eh, study. ¿Ok? En la, en la oración negativa sería, I don't like studying. I don't like studying. ¿Ok? Ahora, recuerda que estamos utilizando el pronombre he. And she. Para este caso, no voy a utilizar don't. Para este caso, tengo que utilizar doesn't. Okay? This is a pronunciation. Doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't like dancing. Lo mismo con el pronombre she. She doesn't like cooking. Okay? Ahora, ¿qué significa doesn't? Teacher, ¿tiene otro significado? No. No. The meaning is the same. Okay, don't and doesn't, both are the same. Ambos tienen el mismo significado, ¿ok? El significado es la forma negativa de like, ¿ok? Pero la única diferencia es que utilizas don't para el pronombre I, you, we, and they. Pero si hablamos en tercera persona, como es he and she, tenemos que utilizar doesn't, ¿ok? Doesn't. Listen the pronunciation, he doesn't, ¿ok? Algunos dicen do es. No, incorrect. He doesn't like dancing. She doesn't like cooking. Ahora, ¿qué significa? I don't like drinking juice. No me gusta beber jugo. He doesn't like dancing. A él no le gusta bailar. She doesn't like cooking. A ella no le gusta cocinar. ¿Ok? Ahora, ya hemos hablado de affirmative form, negative form, now question form. Ahora vamos a ver. Las preguntas, ok, por ejemplo, ¿Do you like eating cookies? ¿Does he like singing? ¿Does she like cooking? Ok, acá tengo tres preguntas, three questions. Short answers, respuestas. For number one, ¿Do you like eating cookies? Yes, I do, affirmative. No, I don't, negative. Ok, you have two answers, affirmative answer, yes. Negative answer, no. ¿Ok? Ahora, como te dije, cuando usamos los pronombres I, you, we, they, siempre vamos a utilizar do. ¿Ok? Do. Do you like or do they like or do we like. ¿Ok? Otro ejemplo sería, do you like running in the park? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. La respuesta siempre va a ser el mismo. ¿Ok? Affirmative, yes, I do. Negative, no, I don't. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué yes I do y por qué no I don't? Why yes I do and why no I don't? Because we have to use the auxiliary do. ¿Ok? Do. Si en la pregunta utilizo el auxiliary do, en la respuesta también debe estar el auxiliary do. Affirmative and don't or negative. Now, does. If I use does for my question, does he like singing? The affirmative answer, yes he does. Yes he does. Negative answer, no he doesn't. No he doesn't. ¿Ok? For number three. The auxiliary is does, okay? But here, we have to use she. She, the pronoun she. The pronoun she, que significa ella. Does she like cooking? Affirmative answer. Yes, she does. Negative answer. No, she does. Okay? Entonces, tengo acá los tres ejemplos. Affirmative, afirmativo, and negative. Okay? Ahora, si yo te hago esa pregunta. Does your father like watching TV? You have two answers. You can say, yes, he does, or no, he does. Okay? Another example. Does your brother like playing football? You can say, yes, he does, or no, he does. Okay? For example, if I say, does your mother like going shopping? You can say, yes, she does, for affirmative answer, or no, she doesn't, for negative answer. Does your sister like Singing in the party, you can say yes, she does for affirmative answer or no, she doesn't for negative answer. Ok, ahora vamos a realizar una actividad. This is the activity that you have to do. 
For number one, you have to write sentences using he, she likes or doesn't like. Okay, for example, Bill. Let's talk about Bill. He, he likes reading comics. Okay, he likes reading comics. ¿Qué es lo que estoy utilizando? Likes, el verbo reading, como les dije. Ok, now, Anne or Anna. She, voy a utilizar she, el pronombre she. Ok, because Anna is a girl. So I have to say she. She likes playing computer. Computer games. She likes playing computer games. Estoy utilizando el pronombre she, que significa ella. Likes, con la S final. Playing, con ING. Y computer games, que es la alternativa que no. This is affirmative. Now, negative. Ana, o she. She don't like or she doesn't like. She doesn't like. She doesn't like writing. Writing emails. Okay. She doesn't like. No le gusta writing. Siempre que escribir. She doesn't like writing emails. Now let's talk about May. May it's a girl. So we are we are going to use she. She likes, she likes listening to music. Okay, she likes listening to music. Ahora, lo que acabo de hacer es formar oraciones usando la información de cada persona. Okay, Bill, Anne, and May. Para esto debo usar el pronombre he for both and she for girls. Remember, likes, affirmative, doesn't like, negative. Number two, read and match the phrases with the pictures. Okay, read and match the phrases with the picture. For example, this is Miriam. She likes playing baseball in the park. This is Levi. Levi likes riding on his dad's snowmobile. This is Toby. Toby likes horse riding and throwing lessons with his dad. And this is Manuela. Manuela likes reading. What you have to do is matching. You have to read and then match with the correct picture. For example, this is Miriam. She likes playing baseball in the park. The answer, the correct picture is number four. Okay, this is Levi. Levi likes riding on his dad's mobile. The answer is number three. This is Toby. Toby likes horse riding and throwing muscles with his dad. The answer is number one. And this is Manuela. Manuela likes reading. Number two. Okay. Esta actividad yo la he dejado como tarea. Así que te estoy dando un ejemplo para que tú lo resuelvas en el cuaderno y luego lo envíes a la plataforma mediante un email. Ok. Muy bien, chicos. Nos vamos a quedar en esta clase. Seguimos la siguiente clase. Espero que hayan entendido. Bye, bye. See you the next class. Good morning, students. Hello or good afternoon. Hello, how are you? I'm teacher Jennifer. Today, we are going to talk about countable nouns and uncountable nouns, okay? Let's start first with countable nouns. What is or, or what are countable nouns? Significa sustantivos contables, okay? Sustantivos que podemos contar, okay? They can be singular or plural. We use a, an, or some, okay? With countable nouns, it means singular or plural, okay? Significa que son los sustantivos que podemos contar. Puede ser en singular o puede ser en plural, okay? Para esto, nosotros utilizamos a, an, or some. Here 
we have some examples. Singular examples, okay? For singular examples, we use there is. There is is for singular. For example, in number one, there is an apple. There is an apple. Significa hay una manzana, okay? This is in singular because it means one, one apple. There is an apple. In number two, there is an egg. There is an egg. Significa que hay un huevo, okay? We use there is. Number three, there is a sandwich. There is a sandwich, okay? Significa que hay un sandwich. In number four, there is a carrot. There is a carrot. Significa que hay una manzana, okay? In singular, we use there is, and we use an before a vowel or a before a consonant, okay? ¿Qué quiere decir? Usamos an antes de una palabra que comience con vocal. En este caso, apple comienza con la vocal a. Es por eso que nosotros colocamos antes an. There is an apple. ¿Y cuándo usamos a? Usamos a antes de una palabra que comience con una consonante. Example, sandwich. Sandwich comienza con la S. Por lo tanto, digo a sandwich. There is a sandwich. Ok. So, now, plural. Plural. For plural, we have to use there are. For plural, we have to use there are. Ok. And some. There are some for plural. Cuando hablamos de, de dos cosas a más. More than two things. Más de dos cosas. For example, in number one, there are some apples. Plural. Okay? More than one. There are some apples. Number two, there are some eggs. There are some eggs. Number three, there are some sandwiches. There are some sandwiches. Number four, there are some carrots. There are some carrots. ¿Ok? Vuelvo a repetir. Estamos usando oraciones en plural. Para las oraciones en plural, yo debo de utilizar there are. ¿Ok? There are. Las oraciones son las mismas. Singular, there is an apple. Plural, there are some apples. Okay? Singular, there is an egg. Plural, there are some eggs. Singular, there is a sandwich. Plural, there are some sandwiches. Singular, there is a carrot. Plural, there are some carrots. ¿Ok? Como ven, hemos empezado con los sustantivos que podemos contar. Tanto en singular como en plural. Utilizando there is y utilizando there are. ¿Ok? Now, continue with uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Uncountable significa incontables. Los sustantivos que no se pueden contar. They are always singular. They are always singular. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que siempre están en singular. ¿Ok? We use there is and some. We use there is for singular. ¿Ok? There is for singular. No there are. Only there is. For example, we have some examples here. In number one, there is some bread. ¿Ok? There is some bread. Number two. There is some cheese. There is some cheese. Number three. There is some soup. There is some soup. Number four. There is some tea. There is some tea. Number five. There is some milk. There is some milk. Number six, there is some juice. There is...